everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I just got done filming this get ready with me that I'm really excited to share with you guys because it is the first of like a new thing that I'm doing. So as you guys probably know, if you watch my vlog channel, I get a lot of new products sent to my house like every day to try out and for videos and stuff. So I thought, why not do a video where I try out all of the new products that are coming out right now in one video and you guys can see a first impression, you can see a tutorial and you can see my review on it all in the same video. So I thought it was kind of a cool idea. You guys will have to let me know. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. That way I can know to keep doing them. But I'm testing out like so many new products. So I'm using the new Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette on my eyes that I love. I'm testing out some new lashes, the EX1 foundation, new bronzer, new blush, new lipstick. Like everything is all new products that I've just released besides this foundation, but it's new to me. So if you guys want to see how I got this peachy spring fun look, then keep on watching. Okay, so a lot of these products I haven't tried out yet. The first one is from Ola Henriksen, and it's the Sheer Transformation for All Skin Types. It is a oil-free moisturizer that's meant to go on underneath your makeup. It also has vitamin C, licorice root, and pea extract. So I've been really excited to test this out kind of as like a base slash primer, but this is something that's also gonna keep my skin really hydrated and moisturized. So it's just like a white cream. I'm going to apply it all over. So it feels a lot more liquidy than I thought it was gonna be. And I can also see kind of like some luminosity to it. it looks really dewy, so that's exactly what I like. For foundation, I'm gonna test out the EX1 Invisiware Liquid Foundation. I've heard a lot of great things about this foundation. It's supposed to be more on the yellow side, so it's going to do a little bit of color correcting, or it's great if you have olive skin tone like I do. I'm gonna use the shade 200, and I believe this is gonna be like a medium coverage foundation. So I've been really excited to test this out. I've heard so many YouTubers talk about this, so I've been like waiting to try it. Okay, so I think this is a nice dewy medium coverage foundation. It's definitely really lightweight on the skin. I did two layers, but so far I really like it. I like how I can see the sheen of that moisturizer underneath. It looks really pretty. So next I'm going to brighten under my eyes with the Dandelion Shy Beam. I want to show you guys how I've been using all the new Benefit products and I'm going to do a whole like new highlighting and contouring video, but I thought I'd do a little sneak peek and show you guys this one first. So. I've been actually using this to brighten under my eyes. It's a very light pink peachy shade, so it's perfect for brightening and it's matte. So I kind of just apply it under my eyes and anywhere where I really want those areas to like pop and be highlighted. Right here I feel like I have like a little bit of like fine lines, so I want there, that area to like pop out. Around here I get pretty red and in there I just like it to be bright. So put that all over and now I'm gonna blend it out. And then you can also work this into the highlight area so it kind of is going to highlight your cheekbones at the same time. Okay, so there's what that looks like. I've been struggling with like darker circles lately, so this has really helped. But also, if you are more oily and you get really shiny throughout the day, but you still wanna use a highlighter, this will be perfect for you because it's completely matte, but it's just brightening. So test it out, all skin types would really love it. So you can leave it just like this, or you can apply a little bit of concealer on top. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna test out the EX1 concealer as well. I don't know if this has a name. Oh, Anti-Blemish Dark Circle Corrector. I have it in shade 100. It's a really pretty yellow undertone. I've been using it to kind of like clean up my eyebrows, but I haven't tried it for underneath my eyes yet. So we'll try it out today. Just using a little flat Sigma brush. So as far as concealer goes, I think it's okay on the under eye, but I really liked it better kind of like cleaning up my brow or maybe cleaning up my lip liner or for like spot correcting little blemishes or acne or anything. So I think this is more of like a corrector rather than an under eye concealer, but I do like the color a lot. Okay, now I'm gonna set everything with my RCMA No Color Powder. This is like my newest favorite. I love that it's completely clear. I like to use it in all the areas that I highlight. So underneath my eyes, underneath my cheekbone, around my mouth, my nose, and my forehead. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this all over and let it bake and sit for a couple minutes.
Okay, so I went ahead and applied the powder. I like it to kind of be really heavy under the eyes and I'll wipe it away in a couple of minutes. But I do it pretty light around my mouth and my forehead. I'm gonna go back in and do right here after I apply my bronzer. So for bronzer today, I'm also trying out something new. This is from Too Faced. It's their Baked Luminous Glow Bronzer, the Sweethearts Bronzer. The color is called Sweet Tea. It's really pretty. It's a little bit darker on one side, lighter on the other, but it's a very cool toned bronzer. So it's also going to do a little bit of contouring at the same time, but it has shimmer in there. So it's like the best of both. So I'm really excited to try this out. I'm gonna use my Spotlight Duster from Sigma. This is my favorite brush for bronzer. It's amazing. Okay, so I absolutely love this bronzer. It's very pretty. It's like the perfect amount of like a subtle glow. I am gonna go back in with a matte bronzer just to do a little bit more contouring on the cheekbones. I'm gonna use Benefit Hoola with, let's see, just like a little brush like this one from Sigma. This is the F35. That way I can do like a pretty sharp contour. Just a little bit. Those two. Okay, then I'm gonna go back in with this no color powder and place it underneath my cheekbones and that will really make your contour stand out. Okay, I can wipe all that away and blend everything together. Okay, time for a little blush. I'm gonna use another Too Faced Sweetheart blush. This one is in Sparkling Bellini. It's a really pretty rosy, peachy, shimmery color, so I'm really excited to test this out. I'm just gonna use an angled blush brush from It Cosmetics. That's really pretty. Peachy blushes are my favorite. And to bring some glow back into my skin, I'm gonna highlight with Laura Geller Gilded Honey. This is one of my new favorites. I love it. So I'm going to overload with this. Just overload it. Just. <laughs> it works. <laughs> See? Looks good. That's how you really do it. Face is complete. I absolutely love how this look is coming together. So far, that foundation, once I set it with powder, I loved it even more. And I love that bronzer blush highlight combo. So now let's move on to brows. I have some new products from ColourPop. They just recently released some new brow products. So first, I'm gonna test out the brow pencil. I have the whole collection here. Look how pretty this is. So I'm probably gonna try this one. Let's see, what color is this? dope taupe and this kind of looks like the Anastasia brow is so I'm excited to see if it compares because that's one of my favorite brow products and I know this is probably a lot less expensive so I'm going to try this out and then they also released brow color that looks like this and it's like a little almost like a moussey gel um, but those aren't usually my favorite I will test this out eventually but for today I'm going to use the brow pencil okay so it looks like this Twisting it up. Let me just test the color real quick. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay, so first I'm gonna use the spoolie and brush my brows up. I'm gonna do a whole eyebrow routine video for you guys soon. And for the star of the show, I'm using the new Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. First of all, I love the packaging. It's so perfect for summer. It looks like this. It's gorgeous. I love all the colors. You have a lot of peachy shades, a lot of dark smoky shades, a really pretty olive shade. So like a bunch of different looks you could do with this. And it smells like peaches. It smells so good. So I'm really excited to try this out. I just got it. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of whatever leftover concealer was on my brush and apply that to my lid kind of as like a base. 
Then I'm gonna take this big fluffy flat brush from Sigma. It's the Large Fluff E50. And I'm going to apply Peaches and Cream, which is like a white nude color all over the eye. Next, I'm gonna take Caramelized, which is a cool toned bronze, and I'm going to apply that all over my lid. I kinda wanna do a dark lid and then smoke it out, like a dark glittery lid. So I'll apply this all over the eyelid. Okay, so I just apply that all over. It does get a little bit into your crease, but that's okay because we want it there anyways. Okay, so next we're going to slowly diffuse out the edges of that crease and blow it out and make it a really pretty smoky look. So you need a big blending brush like this one. This is the E35 from Sigma. We're gonna take a mix of these three, Candied Peach, Bellini, and Puree. I'm gonna start with Bellini and then add a little bit of Puree and then we'll just go from there, okay? So take that color on your big brush and just start fanning this out and blending it out and up into the crease. Perfect. Okay, so I think once that peachy pink Bellini color mixes with the bronze, it turns into like a perfect transition shade. So I don't even need to add the others. I really like how that looks. Okay, so now I wanna add a pop of shimmer. So I'm gonna take Luscious, which is this really pretty champagne color. I'm gonna apply it to my brow bone and inner corner and maybe on the center of the lid just to make it really pop. Okay, so for lower lash line, I'm gonna mix these two colors together, Candied Peach and Bellini, and just smoke that out. That's all I'm gonna do for shadow, and I wanna keep this look fresh and bright. I don't wanna go too dark with it. So I am gonna do a little bit of my black liquid liner from Stila and do a little flick. But as far as like lower lash line goes, I'm just gonna use a brown. I don't wanna use a black because I don't want this to be too harsh. I'm gonna use like a bronzy brown color from ColourPop. It's called Overboard. So I'm gonna apply these two and I will be right back. Okay, so there's the liner. I love that ColourPop liner. I think it's like the perfect brown, but I'm going to apply some mascara before I do my false lashes. I just got this Elizabeth Arden. It's her new mascara, the Grand Entrance. It's like a really pretty red package. And it has kind of like a spiky wand. I think this would be great for lower lashes. So I'm gonna try this out top and bottom, and then I'm going to show you guys the new eyelashes that I picked up. Okay, so I love this mascara. It's great for bottom lashes. It was not clumpy, easy to apply, super dark. I really love it. I put it on my top lashes too, but I just can't find my eyelash curler at the moment, so you guys probably aren't gonna be able to see it, but I really like it. So for lashes, I just bought these mink lashes from Lily Lashes, and I think they are gorgeous. I've been so excited to try these out. I hope they're not too dramatic for this look, but. I love a big, bold lash. So I'm going to put these on and you guys will see the like dramatic difference, hopefully. So I'm gonna cut these, glue them on, and I'll be right back. Okay, so finally I have big, thick eyelashes. I've been like wanting to find a pair of like super thick, dramatic lashes. So I know these won't be for everyone, but I really like them. I also got a pair of like more natural ones, but I really like these. They are really easy to apply too. So we are gonna do a nude lip to finish off this look. For liner, I'm gonna use BFF from ColourPop. And then I have been testing out the new Jouer liquid lipsticks. They're called Lip Creams. And Melon is a really pretty like nude rosy pink color. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of this. You can apply it all over like very opaque for a really matte lip. But I'm just gonna do a tiny bit in the center because I don't want an overly matte look today. It's like the perfect color. 
it dries very quickly too and then I'm gonna top it with a little bit of this like sheer pink gloss from Charlotte Tilbury it's called Hall of Fame I really like it okay and that is the completed look okay so I really love how this look came out I really hope that you guys enjoyed this new style of get ready with me don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it that way I know to keep doing them every time I get like a collection of new products and I can do like the first impression review haul all of that like in one video I thought it was really cool so hope that you guys enjoyed this you try it out at home leave me a comment let me know what you think and subscribe if you're new to my channel I make new videos all the time and I would love Love to have you guys be a part of the family here so i will see you next time bye